Okay, thank you, Sarah. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Koito. Uh, we have developed uh, Neo4j based PID viewer system. So I'm going to explain. If you don't know about PID, don't worry, I'll explain. Okay, uh, first, let me explain our, about our business. Uh, we do EPG business. I'm making long story short, uh, we are building facilities. So, and uh, today I'm focusing on this energy transition area. Energy transition area consists of many plant types, like energy plant, CCS plant, hydrogen plant, chemical plant, oil and gas plant, whatever, whatever. And uh, for the EPC, uh, it has three phases, engineering, procurement, and construction. So we design the plant and we purchase items and we build plant. So engineering is the first step of this business and this is the key part. For the engineering, uh, we start from PFT, that is process flow diagram. This is a conceptual diagram and it shows equipment, but this is pressure vessel and the pump heat exchanger, whatever, whatever, and the equipment, and these lines are piping. So this is a conceptual diagram that shows the relationship between equipment and piping. Based on this, we develop P and ID, that is piping and instrument diagram. For example, for this small area, will be developed like this. So this, this big one is equipment, and that each lines, each lines with the arrow, this is piping, and that this balloon uh, circle uh, instrument, it, it is controlling plant, and this another type line is a signal uh, wire cables. So this is detailed diagram, but it's still non non dimensional. And it shows the relationship between equipment, piping, and instrument. After that, based on this, we develop 3D model. This is a spatial design, but we still, based on this P and ID, we cannot change the relationship of the P and ID during this spatial design. After that, we purchase material and the fabricate and the build plant. That is the uh, overall work, workflow. <clears throat> and this P and ID is the basis of the detailed design. So this is the key of the design. So if this diagram change, everything will be changed. This is a sample picture of the plant, what we have built before. Uh, this white line the piping and uh, it connects to equipment. This is equipment, the heat exchanger. And uh, it's, it is not seen, but uh, there is a cables, and also there is a road. So that means uh, there is a lot of network, piping network, cable network, road network. So network equal graph. So graph is everywhere in the plant. However, uh, for the P and ID key document of the design, we have a problem. Uh, P and ID normally we handle as drawing. Drawing means that is a kind of image picture, so difficult to recognize by machine. So we do this handwriting markup and we do material counting. We call it takeoff. And also we do design check on P and ID, but uh, this is on P PDF, but it's still hand hand work. And uh, we do grouping on P and ID, but it's also manual work. So this is important diagram, but uh, we are doing a lot of manual works. It's huge. And number of 
PNID drawing is approx 1000 plus drawings per one project. And uh, we update three or four times that PNIDs. And uh, we check and uh, we take off materials every time. So it could be we uh, ten, more than 10,000 drawings, markups, check prints we made. It's huge. Problem of the <clears throat> background of the problem is data. So we use CAD, CAD system to make a PND, PND ID, but it can tell individual items only, and we can list items. But it cannot tell relationship. For the graph, as you know, uh, it can tell relationship among items. So in this case, uh, this is a piping, okay? And uh, there is a flow instrument that is measuring flow rate of this piping, and uh, it sends a signal to flow controller, and the flow controller calculate uh, based on the algorithm, and it, it can send a signal to control this valve, open and close valve. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> And finally, based on that open close, this piping flow rate can be controlled. So this relationship is very important, but uh, uh, by using existing approach, it's difficult to get. So that's why we use graph. Our approach is like this. First, uh, we use CAD data, P and ID data. And uh, from that, we can extract XML. So, and uh, we developed a graph converter. Then, and it's about 1 million nodes per project. Then we can run graph algorithms and uh, we can achieve design automation. The simplified graph data model is like this. So we consider each component as a node that we connect them by relationship, then it will be like this. So we change defer the label for piping and the instrument. And of course, each node have a property. This is a simplified version, but the idea is something like that. And the typical use cases is as shown here. <clears throat> Graph pattern matching is one of the example. For example, this instrument loop takeoff, but this, this relationship of the instrument, we call it loop, instrument loop. And we need to look for the same graph pattern from 1000 pages of P and ID, but we used to do this manually. But uh, by using graph pattern matching, we can do this quickly. Another example is P and I uh, piping specific item takeoff. In this case, this is a valve, and uh, this is a pressure relief valve. So sometimes we need to identify this isolation valve of relief valve, and we can do we can find this quickly by using graph pattern. Another example is old grouping. We need to group piping by using its property, fluid conditions. In this case, the yellow one has the same property, and the red one has another property. <clears throat> and the uh, piping are disconnected by this equipment, so we need to group uh, upper part of yellow and lower part of yellow differently. So group one, group two, something like this. And uh, this one, can also be done easily by using Epoch library. So we have developed system and we have a UI for graph pattern matching. We can configure a graph pattern. So we can do drop, drag and drop and we can configure the pattern. And we can add properties for each nose. Uh, from this UI, we can generate Cypher query like this. This is a first node. In this case, there is a hop, another node, next node, node. 
And uh, these additional conditions can be added by where, where clouds. And uh, this is a very basic skill of Cypher manual. Cypher. So if you are interested in, please check patterns in Cypher manual. And then we can, we will learn this query on super graph of and Daddy, and we can get the result. This is a, a basic flow of this pattern matching. And uh, this is a, a technology stack. So we use React Flow and .NET Core and AuraDB. Here is a demo. Uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, uh, this is a PND ID, and we can change the seed by from tree. And of course, we have a property. Uh, we can jump to next page by using this off page connector. And each node have a property, and we can check the property. <clears throat> it is getting from uh, graph database near 4J. And uh, if we need to uh, do the pattern matching, we need to configure the pattern. Then we can do drag and drop like this. We can press a node and uh, we can connect the relationship. <clears throat> yeah, as you need. And uh, we can set the hop for between the node. In this case, we set max hop two and a minimum hop zero. Within this range, pattern will be searched. And uh, another setting is we can set the degree of the node. In this case, the only degree new no to node will be searched for this node. And then uh, run it on the graph. It's very quick, and we can add in the list, and we can jump to the items. <clears throat> so this one is means first found item pattern. This two is second found pattern. So this two is also shown here. This is the uh, demo of pattern matching. Okay, so <clears throat> this is our roadmap. We have basically two major phases. First one is topology integration. Second one is generative design phase. And we are still at the first step. And uh, as a next step, we are going to move to PFTP and ID integration. And the next step, we will integrate 3D as well. And the uh, next step, we move to generative design phase. And uh, we need to integrate spec, spec, front spec and philosophies. And then final goal will be P and ID generation by using graph technique. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you are interested in this, please send me a message or connect me in LinkedIn. Thank you very much.